Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We are going to be servicing the differential today on my BMW 760Li. Now the processes that I'm going to be doing today are pretty much the same for any BMW. There may be some slight differences I will explain as we go along the way. Now to service your differential, you're going to need a couple of things. So you are going to need some gear oil. It typically is 75W90, but do make sure you have the correct oil for your differential. It's a good idea to replace the fill and drain plug if that is applicable to you. Some differentials only have a fill plug, some have a fill and a drain plug. In our case, we have a fill and a drain plug. And you are going to need some kind of pump for refilling the differential. Now, if you are interested, I will leave the link down below for this hand pump right here. I've used it a bunch of times. It's not expensive and it seems to do the job quite well. But that is pretty much all you're going to need. So without further ado, we'll get outside and let's get cracking. So as you can see, the car is already up in the air. It's very important to make sure that your car is perfectly level. When it comes to refilling the differential, you have to make sure that it's perfectly level so you get the correct amount back in. Now, before we get started on draining the oil, if you have a look at the diff itself, now you can see it looks pretty rusty, doesn't it? Now this was actually in an advisory on the previous MOT. I believe it just said diff, rear diff corroded or something along those lines. So I think I just want to give this a good clean up first, try and get rid of some of that surface rust. I'm not going to go crazy, I'm not going to start painting it or anything like that, but I just want to make it look a bit better. I'm pretty sure this is just all surface rust, like I can't see any leaks or anything. Um, so yeah, I want to get this cleaned up first. I'm just going to start off scraping some of this flaky stuff off and then... Uh, Stack it with the brush and then we'll uh, use the drill attachment. It's really quite bad. I just don't know how this thing can be so rusty. It's honestly like it's been at the bottom of the ocean for a hundred years. This is like what you'd expect the Titanic to look like. I mean, I know it's 18 years old, but I've never seen one this rusty, honestly. It's just weird because nothing else has really, you know, been affected that bad. The car is generally pretty rust free. I don't know why the rear differential is really taking a hit. But yeah, I'm gonna get this cleaned up as much as possible. Then, I don't know, should I just cover this thing in grease? Just to uh, kind of give it a bit of protection? I don't know. Okay, so I think I've gone as far as I want to go with cleaning this thing up. Now, still looks quite bad. Yes, I know, but it doesn't quite look as Titanic spec as it did before. So, yeah, I'm debating whether or not to cover this in grease after I've, you know, drained and refilled it with oil. I don't know yet, but yeah. Next thing we need to do is remove the fill plug before we remove the drain plug, because last thing you want to have is you know this thing empty and then you can't even refill it again just need to find out what size allen key that requires well it's a 12 millimeter apparently which is strange because the new genuine bmw ones are a 14 millimeter let's just hope they are the same threads now i've have i'm having to have it I'm, I'm having to have the allen key this way around because as you can see it's quite far in so i can't get the short end in I have no idea how I'm going to get enough leverage on this. I do have a cheetah bar, but even so, I think this is going to be in here pretty tight. Okay, so I just went out and got some proper sockets. So I'm going to just put it on a breaker bar then. So we're going to need the 12 millimeter one. Okay, so I still can't use the long breaker bar, but I can use a shorter one with the cheetah bar over it. So, so we can crack this loose. 
That's that crack loose then. Here it goes with the drain plug then. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Almost like as if a bomb just went off. Shrapnel everywhere. Well, that's loose now. Okay, so it's all about trying to determine which angle this is going to shoot out at and where to position the drain pan. Is this just going to go, or is it just going to drip from here? Right, let's just go ahead and remove it anyway. Oh, I'm going to remove the fill plug first actually, because Otherwise, it's going to start glugging out. It's going to have a vacuum. Right, that's the fill plug removed. I can remove the drain plug. I can already smell the gear oil. It smells lovely. Right, here we go. Oh. Right, I'm just going to leave that to drain then. The colour of it doesn't look too bad to be honest. You know, differential oil doesn't really get contaminated, so it shouldn't be black or anything like that. But there's a good chance that this may be the original stuff in here. So we've been reduced to a drip. I'm just going to give this a wipe, wipe down. We can install our new drain plug and we'll screw this in. I'll just tighten it down. I'm not going to properly torque it yet. I'll find out what the torque spec is once we've done. Okay, so I'm just going to begin pumping this fresh oil in until it starts running out of the fill plug. And I'm going to install our new fill plug and that'll be pretty much job done. I have no idea how much if this differential takes. I would say it's between one and two litres. So, I mean, this is four litres, we're not, definitely not going to use all this. But we'll just keep going until we have a stream coming out of the fill hole. The thing that I really love about gear oil is just how nice it smells. It smells so good. That's a joke, by the way. Okay, so seems like we've put about two litres in so far. Surely not. One, two, I know. Put around, wood, well, coming up to two. Ah, I can see, I think, it's gonna start dripping. Let's give it another squirt. Yeah, we have a drip. Okay, let's install the new Fill plug. There we go, finally. Okay, so it's now time to torque down the fill plug. So I'm going to torque that down to 60 newton meters. And then the drain plug, I'm also going to torque that down to 60 newton meters as well. And I just need to give everything a good cleaned out. And there we go then, there's the diff fluid change now done. And I've decided I am going to give 
the differential a coating of grease just to prevent it from rusting any further and um, to protect it a little bit more as well. Okay so after applying some grease here's how we are looking looks much better to be honest it should protect it quite a bit better now from further rusting yeah it looks much better than it did anyway let's hope this is good enough to not be an advisory on the next MOT obviously if it does cause us any issues or if it starts leaking or anything like that we will address it you know I'll more than likely just either drop this and get it refurbished or I'll uh, just replace it for a another unit but but yeah, this still seems like it's in good working order. Okay then guys, that is another job done on the BMW 760Li. That is the differential now serviced. I'm pretty sure that the um, that the oil that was in there was the original, judging um, by the fact that the original fill and drain plugs were very rusty. It's more than likely never been changed. I don't know what it is, for whatever reason, people seem to forget about the differential and think, think that it does never need service. Um, but in my opinion you should just do it it's it's not that hard to do and it, it's relatively cheap for some for some decent uh, gear oil as well so I'd highly recommend you guys do it all you need to do make sure you have your car up in the air and it is level you know drain the uh, old fluid by removing the um, drain plug or if you only have a fill plug then you need to pump out the old stuff and then just fill it up until you have fluid coming out of the fill plug it's as simple as that really um but yeah i hope this video has been somewhat helpful anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed it please remember to give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i'll catch you all in that next one